take a sip from the cup of chance We're both so young And baby, we've got time to face our fears Make our dreams come true We both know what we want Hey guys, I hope you're having a beautiful damn day because you deserve it. Why do I always like do this with my arms? Welcome back to another What I Eat in a Week video. I am super grateful that you are here. If you are new, hello, what is up? My name is Julia and I am happy to have you. But in this one, I wanted to show you guys what I was eating when I was busy. I saw friends and family, I worked, and I had to keep my YouTube life alive as well. So it was a pretty busy week. I had many things on my to-do list. Long story short out of all of this is I really wanted to show you guys that it's completely possible to have a balanced diet even when you are a busy person. We do not need to obsess over our food and we also don't need to completely forget about it and not pay attention to what we are putting into our bodies. We can have a nice balance in between the two where we are nourished our bodies and paying attention to what we are putting in ourselves without obsessing over it because we really need to see food from a bird's eye view we really need to see our life and our diet and our exercise regimen and all of these things from a bird's eye view and not nitpick intuitive eating for myself is paying attention to my body every single day and fueling myself accordingly but that also means guiding it into my schedule so i'm not spending hours on end in the kitchen when I really should be doing something else. With a little bit of effort and a little bit of consciousness, we really can create a balance in our lives and I hope to encourage you to do that. Anyways, let's get on to the food. <laughs> For lunch today, I was feeling a stir fry with some rice and yes, you should rinse your rice, but sometimes your girl's a little lazy and just can't be bothered. So you know what? I threw my dry rice in with my water and called it a day. I then just started sauteing some onion and some garlic in my frying pan with a little bit of oil. I then threw in some mushrooms that really needed to be used. They were looking a little sad and that's kind of the inspiration behind this whole stir fry, to be honest. I needed to use those mushrooms. I added a pinch of chili flakes, an entire zucchini, and some very small little cute little cubes. I said little a lot right there of some tofu. I then added some soy sauce and some rice vinegar along with a little bit of maple syrup to really just bring the flavor together. You gotta have that umami, you gotta have that spiciness, you gotta have that acidity, you gotta have that little bit of sugar and mm, it just makes everything so damn delicious. I then topped my stir fry onto my rice, added some sesame seeds and some sauerkraut along with a little bit of lime juice because Guys, I'm addicted to lime. Like lime juice just brings everything together in my mind. Thank you. <laughs> Pull up to your spot in the evening. Got a life in a pot for the weekend. Girl, I said you're the one that I made. Mean. <laughs> So I went on a little adventure to see my cousin, my aunt, and some friends in Toronto. And because of that, my food was kind of all over the place at this night. There's 10 bananas. So one pack is just one. This is a banana. Yeah. That's insane. You eat one every day? Yeah. You gotta get your bananas in. I don't know how to describe that. It doesn't taste like a banana. It tastes like... Kind of tastes like date. It's like a date and like chocolate and like a banana all mixed in one. I don't know. It's good though. So I didn't eat that entire plate of watermelon, but I, I pretty much did. I then 
had a coffee and relaxed for a little while and then decided I need I needed some substance. So I just cut the corn off of a cob, threw it into a pan with some spicy oil and then just let that saute until the corn started to brown. My aunt had picked up some really delicious bagels from a local baker that I believe it's a local baker that lives by her. <laughs> Nonetheless, she had delicious bagels. So I cut open a pumpernickel bagel None of this meal whatsoever makes sense, but honestly, it ended up being okay. I added hummus to one side of the bagel and some weird but delicious mustard to the other side of the bagel, threw some lettuce on there with my corn, some red peppers, some more lemon, some more lettuce and a touch of lemon as well. Again, none of this makes sense, but hey, sometimes you just gotta work with what you got. My aunt then made a smoothie for herself and kindly shared a little bit with me. And then we just cooked up a whole whack load of edamame, salted it and <laughs> snacked on it as well. I definitely ate a lot more than I put on this plate. When I got home that evening, I was not feeling anything too technical and I just warmed up some leftover sweet potato and rice in a frying pan. And I already had some chopped up veggies as well. So I threw some kale, cucumber, red pepper, red cabbage, along with the warmed up rice and sweet potato, topped it off with some delicious pickled red onions, some Asian inspired dressing and a touch of sesame seeds and enjoyed this super simple dinner. Again, this week is about keeping it simple, okay? I was on the go, I was moving and grooving, I didn't have a lot of time in the kitchen, and because of that, fruits are my favorite because you just cut them open, you throw them into a bowl, and it's deliciousness. Screw anyone that says not to eat fruit, okay? Because, ugh. Okay, so a boodle bowl does not have to be difficult. It does not have to take you a lot of time. Cutting up these vegetables took me a couple minutes. Okay, a couple minutes, guys. I threw some spinach in my bowl. I threw my red cabbage in my bowl. I threw my cucumber in my bowl. And then I had a leftover sweet potato that I threw on top. I threw in my kale. And that's it, guys. I didn't even warm up my sweet potato. I wanted a cold sweet potato. And that's that's all right. Topped it off with some sauerkraut and some pickled red onions for that beautiful color, that beautiful acidity. Mmm. Topped it off with some green onions and my famous seed mix, which is just a mixture of hemp seeds, black sesame seeds, and pumpkin seeds. You can also season the seed mix with a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of garlic powder, if you know that you're gonna be having it with savory dishes and it really, really levels them up. I then just topped off this bowl with some delicious balsamic vinaigrette dressing and enjoyed. I did not have enough time to make myself dinner tonight because I went to work. So I just requested these random ass toppings on a gluten-free crust and called her a day. Honestly, I am such a fan of some coconut yogurt with some blueberries and some hemp seeds. To me, that is just so comforting and nice to have for breakfast. I don't know how else to describe it. It's like, it's like a cute little yogurt bowl, you know? I then enjoyed my coffee while editing a video and I worked in the morning as well. So I got up bright and early after getting home late last night. It was a mess, but hey, we always make it work. We always have a smile on our face. So I didn't really have enough time to pack food to bring to work with me. So I got a banana and I ate that entire thing of grapes, by the way, I munched on it like all day. I then had some leftover baba ganoush with some onions, some onions, some carrots and some celery. When I got home later that night, I was needing like a big old meal, you know, because all I did was like pick at things all day. I needed a big, coherent, delicious meal. So I chopped up some red cabbage, some carrots, some cucumbers, some green onion, and some tofu. And again, we are all about keeping it simple this week. So I did not do anything to that tofu. And some of you may think that's disgusting, but honestly, it's not that bad. As long as you have a good salad dressing or some sort of sauce to go on top of it, 
it's pretty damn good. So I had a little piece of leftover sweet potato as well. So I just threw that in there and that kind of actually made this whole dish a little more creamy and it was really, really nice. I threw some rice noodles on there along with some sriracha, of course, because you guys already know I love to spice things up. I then added a little bit of soy sauce, mixed some miso in with some warm water, threw that on there as well, along with some tahini. Again, none of this, none of this really makes sense, but I promise you it was creamy, it was spicy, it had a little bit of acidity, it was, it was great. I threw some seed mix on this weird collaboration of things and called her a night. All right, you already know what's up. You already know what's up. What's coming next? Can you guess? Yeah, that's right, blueberries, blueberries. But today, today I spiced it up just a little bit and I don't mean actually, like I didn't make this spicy, but I threw some hemp seeds and some peanut butter and then I was feeling a little more sweet. So I threw some maple syrup on top as well and I just, that was, mm, that was so good. A little bit of peanut butter, a little bit of yogurt, a little bit of hemp seed, a little bit of maple syrup. It was, mm, 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 and uh, hello from Coffee Me. <laughs> simplicity, simplicity is key, guys. So I just chopped up a bunch of bok choy rinsed it, of course, definitely rinse your bok choy because a lot of the time dirt likes to hide in all of the crevices and whatnot, so give it a little rinse. I then decided to snack on the rest of that baba ganoush with some carrots. I don't know why I threw Frank's Red hot sauce in there, but hey, sometimes I'm just addicted to spicy things and I need it in my life. So I finished that entire thing of baba ganoush that I had left over and then decided to start actually cooking. So. I threw some minced garlic and some minced ginger into my frying pan with a little bit of sesame oil. I then let them brown a little bit. Honestly, I let it, I let it brown a little bit too much for my liking, to be honest. I then threw my bok choy in there along with some soy sauce and some chili flakes, along with a touch of water as well. Mixed everything on up to make sure the bok choy was covered in everything. Honestly, it was a little bit of a task to do because the bok choys were quite big. I then covered it to let them steam and let the bok choys really soak up that flavor while softening up as well. Well, I then added a touch of rice vinegar for that a little bit of acidity along with some maple syrup as well And then all I did was throw all of that into a bowl Top it off with some pickled red onions with some ses and, uh, soup, doop, doop, and some sesame seeds I was having a big craving for hot chocolate, so that is what I did. I made myself a delicious hot chocolate, but not any old regular cocoa powder hot chocolate. I made it with real chocolate. And if you have not done this, I swear to you, it will change your life. All you gotta do is just chop the chocolate up pretty finely, throw it in some warm milk and mix it on up. I also added maple syrup and a couple drops of peppermint oil because that's what I was feeling today. And the art of simple dinners, honestly, potatoes. Let's bring it back to the classics, all right? To potatoes. If you do not love potatoes, I don't know what you're doing. Maybe you just haven't found your specific favorite potato. And I highly encourage you to eat multiple different kinds of potatoes because not all potatoes are the same. Anyways, we chopped those potatoes up into pretty good chunks, topped it off with some pepper, some salt, and rolled them in some oil as well, but we needed more flavor than that. So we added some dill, some oregano, some onion powder, some garlic powder, and just got our hands right in there and massaged that all into those potatoes. I then just threw them in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and cooked them for about 40 minutes or so. For the last five minutes, I turned them on broil to really crisp up the tops. To go along with all of our potatoes, we needed a big old salad because that's just the how I roll. That's just how I roll, okay? So we added some mixed greens, some red onion, some red pepper, some carrot, some cucumber, and a little bit of lemon juice on top. We then just got our hands in there again and massaged that all in. Added some black pepper, some salt, some vegan mayo, some Dijon mustard, and again, just got our hands in there and massaged that all in. And once our potatoes were all cooked and crispy and delicious, I added some apple cider vinegar to them because guys, Guys, I'm a vinegar person on, on the potatoes. I don't know what you are. Let me know down in the comments. Are you a vinegar person, a ketchup person, maybe an aioli person? What 
type of person are you when it comes to potatoes? I need to know. Okay, I feel like I'm drinking a lot of coffee in this one and honestly, I have weird cravings for it. Like I just want to drink coffee every day consistently and then there's points in time where I do not want to touch coffee at all. And I, I don't know what that means, but hey, that's what intuitive eating is. I'm just gonna give my body what I want and what I need. Anyways, for breakfast, I think it was in my last What I Eat in a Week video, I was really vibing peaches on toast. And that may seem weird, but hey, hear me out, okay? It adds that a little bit of sweetness. It's like sweet and savory all coming together in a coherent way with that crispiness, crispiness of the toast. And today I did not have any avocado in the house. So I was like, what can I use that's kind of mild in flavor that won't be overpowering? So I added some tahini to it, but I wanted some spiciness as well. So I added a little bit of sriracha, topped it off with some sauerkraut as well, because hey, got to get your fermented foods in. My peaches, my pickled red onions, along with some cucumber, topped it off with some seed mix, and I needed more. So I... <laughs> So I added some green mix as well and gave it a little squeeze of lemon. I don't even know how to describe how this was other than just really good. It was just really good. I was really satisfied after eating this as well. And just look how pretty all of these colors are together on this toast. Oh my goodness. By the way, I'm using pumpernickel toast. I love pumpernickel toast. In my last videos, I used fresh sourdough and oh my God, I'm still dreaming of that fresh sourdough. The sky at night makes me this way. Why is so far? So, as you guys know, we're in September and here in Canada, the day starts off extremely cold and then by noon, it is boiling hot. And you have to have about seven different outfits during the day. Let me know down in the comments if you guys can relate to that. But sometimes it's a struggle. So today it was exactly that. It was cold during the morning, but then extremely hot by lunchtime. So I made this delicious smoothie bowl with frozen bananas, protein powder, ashwagandha, hemp seeds, and some oat milk as well. Topped it off with a bunch of peaches because guys, these peaches honestly are the best peaches I've ever bought. Like I, I devoured them. To be fully transparent with you guys, this dinner had no plan. I had I had no plan other than the fact that I needed to use carrots, celery, and onions that I had in the house. So we started off with that. We added our carrots, onions, and celery to our pan along with some oil and some garlic. I then munched on the leftover potatoes that I had sitting around, seasoned my veggies with some salt and some pepper, and then just let them cook while I tried to figure out what the hell my plan was with this. I then decided to throw zucchini in there along with some red pepper, continued sauteing, and then I, I came up with a plan. We were gonna go a little more quote unquote bolognese style with this. So I added some oregano, some basil, some thyme, a little bit of rosemary and some bay leaves along with some chili flakes as well because you guys already know. I then crumbled in just over half of a block of tofu with my fingers and then just mix that all on up with my veggies. For that, a little more of a umami flavor. I added a little bit of soy sauce. I had a Roma tomato sitting around, so I threw that in there as well, along with some balsamic vinegar and some nutritional yeast as well. Again, I did not have much of a plan for this, but all things considered, it did turn out okay. Because I have a problem with tomatoes, I would recommend you guys like adding a can of tomatoes to this, but because I do have a problem with tomatoes, I can't eat that much of them. So that's why I only added one small Roma tomato and a little bit of this like tomato based hot sauce. I then was just having a craving for like mac and cheese noodles, you know, like the little elbow noodles. So that's why I just threw those in with the mixture as well. Topped it off with some green onion and I was feeling some balsamic glaze on top too. So we did that and enjoyed this random creation.
All right, there I was enjoying my morning coffee. And after we sipped on that super slowly, we needed some breakfast. So I added the rest of my frozen bananas along with a quite brown sad banana that was not frozen i added an orange a couple peaches to this as well i was feeling more of like a fruity smoothie this morning but i was also feeling like a lot of health benefits as well so i threw in some frozen spinach and some greens powder along with some protein powder and guys i gotta say i don't buy frozen spinach but this woman that lives in my building always just comes to my apartment with a bunch of food and honestly like god bless her like i She's so sweet and so nice. Couldn't appreciate it more. But that's how I always end up with some like random food in my house. <laughs> With that said about the woman that lives in my building, that is where that bag of like slaw came from. She was just like, I, I'm not gonna eat this. Like, will you have this? And I'm like, hell yeah, sure, give it to me. Throw all the food you got at me. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna create with it. I'm gonna figure it out. Figure, figure it out. And honestly, guys, it was really nice to just throw a bag of veggies into my bowl, add a couple more veggies to them along with some weird sauce creation that I'm making and just call her a day. If you wanna make your life easy, buy things that are already chopped up. Yes, it can decline the nutritional level of the veggies and fruit if they're already chopped up, but at the end of the day, stress kills. All right, if you're a super busy person, don't stress yourself out even more by thinking you gotta do all of this stuff when you get home from work. You don't wanna add on your plate, you wanna take off your plate. So sometimes sacrifices have to be made. <laughs> Cheers. I don't think I can do this with one hand. Oh yeah, bro. Thanks, man. You can't even do it with yours. Oh my god. This is, <laughs> there we go. We'll just act like that never happened. Put some cool montage music on this. That was so funny. <laughs> So tonight I met up with my friend Chloe and I have not seen her in such a long time that it felt so nice to just chill with her and talk and, you know, get deep over some sushi and some Starbucks, you know, just classic girl things to do. I feel like that's such a girl thing to do, you know, like get Starbucks and sushi with your friend. <laughs> but honestly, I love it. It was so nice. And guys, this girl, she is so freaking cool. Like her style is so different, so unique, so freaking cool. And she wants to start a YouTube channel. And I think I need you guys to like hype her up down in the comments right now because I'm trying, but she's just not quite listening to me, you know? So leave a comment down for Chloe. Be like, yes, girl, start that YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. It truly means the world to me. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. And if you could just take a second and hit the like button and subscribe button if you haven't already. It just, you're gonna warm your girl's heart. You're gonna warm your girl's heart, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> As I said at the beginning, I really hope to encourage you to find that balance in your life and find a diet and find a cooking schedule and whatnot that really works for you, your specific body, your specific life, and not compare yourself to anybody else. I wanted to demonstrate that it is possible, but that does not mean you have to do exactly what I am doing because we are two different human beings and that is the most beautiful thing about life is that we are all different and unique. And remember that, you're different and unique. I am sending you so much love and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you again very soon. Mwah!